My name is Senolo Jennifer Madegale Salamizi. I'm an ordained minister of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Botswana. I'm also a full time lecturer of practical theology at the University of Botswana, born and bred in Botswana. I'm a wife and a mother. I was ordained as a minister of wedding sacrament in 2008, and during that time I was very young and tiny. I uh, was feeling field was very high, it was highly male-dominated. I felt discriminated against and undermined. Firstly, because of my age, as I said, I was young, and secondly, because of my gender. I spent most of the time trying to prove myself in hostile environments, and there was no change, and my experience had a toll on my psycho-emotional state. Because of that experience, it is really easy for me to connect with anyone who is going to who is, going, who is experiencing any form of discrimination, such as the LGBTIQ community. My master's thesis uh, was on pastoral care to the uh, to the gay community. Uh, the, it was primarily meant to sensitize the Christian Church in Botswana on the experiences and challenges of the gay community in Botswana at the same time proposing Jekyll model of shepherding as an appropriate uh, model to use in the church. Of course, this was a very difficult time, uh, physical phase, because I faced a lot of hate and I lost a lot of, of friends in the process. I used to take pride in saying that I have academic uh, freedom and I will use it to good use. I'll make it clear. Uh, pastors should ask, how can we share your pain, joy, and hope how can we carry one another's burdens and fulfill the law of Christ? And that is found in Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. So my argument is that a pastor is someone who's supposed to be able to be moved by the pain of the other and be able to share uh, that pain and instill hope and joy in, in the other person. I'm actually still working very close with, the, with both the church community and the LGBTI community. I'm also connecting the LGBTI community with the university, especially our Department of Theology and Religious Studies, where I'll always invite them for classes um, where they will share their experiences and needs. They will also empower students on issues of gender and sexuality. Most of religious leaders in Botswana, they mainly use two authoritative sources, such as the Bible and culture, to discredit homosexuality. But the law of Botswana is very clear. Homosexuality has been decriminalized. The global passages are used to discredit uh, uh, actually, there are about six or seven global passages in the Bible. Those are the ones that are used to create uh, discredit homosexuality. Hence, the usage of statements such as homosexuality is sinful, God created Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve, people are created to procreate, uh, those arguing using uh, culture as a source, um, use statements such as homosexuality is uncultural, uh, homosexuality is a modern phenomenon. Also has to be a forum where we will allow the LGBTIQ plus community to tell their stories because they know themselves uh, much better. So I think through listening to their narrative, their life stories, um, something uh, we, we can know more about them. So generally information uh, gap has to be bridged.